Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co host, Brian. It's going, buddy. We're back to talk Married at First Sight, the Nashville season. So, this is season 16, episode 12, getting to the crust. Um, another kind of transitionary episode, Brian. There were some breakthroughs. I don't know how permanent some of the breakthroughs were. There was goat yoga, um, which was interesting. Uh, it's funny that her dad, Nicole's dad, is a hardo goat yoga dad, like hardo <laughs> yoga dad, like got into it with her now, became an instructor. It was like, it was like really tough about it. Is the same guy that said that Chris has like little dick energy and yep. that like looks like in the preview says that like, why are you marrying this bitch? Like, <laughs> like hardo goat yoga dad did not expect that this season. So that was like literally what was sticking in my head. Um, that Brian, the heiress kind of conversations with, a uh, Dr. Pepper. Um, it seems like abandonment stuff. Where, where was your head at major things that you want to talk about first? Uh, I mean, the Nicole stuff is super funny. Um, I would say like the Shaq and Kirsten, like they, they are, I, I still can't get a gauge on them. I know you want them yeah. to fail. I want them to, I don't want them to fail. It's just my vibe. bro. I, like, what I'm, joking. I'm, jo- I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But I still have faith in them. Like Gina and Clint, I still just don't know. No, they're done. It's just like this is one of those episodes where like we got content to watch, but I didn't feel like a lot actually happened. You know why, Brian? Because some of these couples aren't actually progressing. And yeah. that was like the Gina and Clint thing. And that's what the what the therapist said again. It was like, you got to like just progress and move on and do stuff. You can't just keep sitting here and saying like, well, when I'm comfortable, so you're riding the clock out, you're riding right. the clock out. So when it gets to the end and say like, who knows, but like, I can't marry you right now. I have, I want to get divorced and you know, we'll see what happens. And then obviously it's not going to work out. Right. Like that, that's what she's basically saying. And that's, he's like, uh, you know, like I'm not perfect, but like, I want to try. And so again, it all comes back to the fact that he called her fat. And she's not over and she's not vibing if she doesn't isn't attracted to gingers and then he insulted her and like she's it, the problem is like because you can see him actively trying to do things she's asking for and then when he does it she's still like not happy yeah, about it and i'm not saying she's a bad person or whatever but like it's just like the people we talk about where we just covered uh love is blind season four the first week on netflix check that out on our channel make sure you're subscribed to that and our tiktok but it's like sometimes you just don't vibe and it's it and some of the people can admit it right away and she's just having a hard time just admitting that part just says she wants out. We criticized Dominique in some of the earlier episodes, but at least she did finally just say, okay, yeah, I went out too. Like that's what right. Yeah. No one wants to be first to like legit go like the Dom speaking of uh, Dominique and McKinley, like he like in the preview, like sliding in Gina's DMs. I think it was Gina. That's a dumb call. In my opinion, that's going to get shut down. I want to, maybe my memory's wrong. I'm pretty sure it was Gina because I was surprised. That'd be, I mean, how do you do Nicole? I know he might not get shut down though, right? Because if, if, yeah, she, yeah, oh, we'll that see. would be I so mean, messy. That's the kind of shit I want to see. Does that mean Clint? Is it a trade and Clinton gets Dom? <laughs> what if they traded? Yeah, man, traded yeah. wives and and some cash considerations or a draft pick. He likes to fish. <laughs> I would rather have Gina than Dom. Yeah, Dom I mean, just seems like no, I don't know. Well, she's just not her, her mom signed her up, so like you can't really take. Yeah, she's even like yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's <laughs> interesting though, but like I don't like that idea. Just <laughs> that's an, a wife swap, a literal wife swap on Married at First Sight. That would definitely get us a little energized, some juice. I'm sure people would watch if that freaking happened. <laughs> yeah, that would um, probably make sense. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I think overall, like those were my major takeaways from the episode, Brian. I mean, I do think we do have some more drama coming, but I do wish they would, for these long ninety-minute episodes, they would combine some of the events of these weeks. I mean, they have enough episodes of like people sitting on couches and sitting in their beds talking about the episodes five times a week on my DVR. That like I think they could fill out some weeks where they don't have, like, they, like squeeze those together and like have some weeks off them whatever that are just the bed episodes. <laughs> like I don't care, but like, yeah, like I don't what? need. I don't need that. Yeah, like, why is it 17 episodes? If, like, we're just, like, we, we, we're we literally struggling to talk about this episode. It's like, oh, crap, we didn't record that. Yeah. Um, like I said, check out our TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're doing a ton of art, especially on the community section. We'll keep you guys updated with things as we go on YouTube. The page is growing. Love to see you watch other shows. Comment below other things we should be watching. But until next time, for myself and Brian, thank you. Peace.